Hello, Command and Conquer Generals and Command and Conquer Generals Zero Hour Mod Fans. I'm your host Jundi and today I'll be showing you how to install or add a mod to Command and Conquer Generals or Zero Hour. There are two ways that I know, so I will hopefully show you both of them. There might be more, but I will know two ways, so I'll show you both of them ways hopefully today. Okay, first of all, you want to come to where the games are installed, so your C, D, E, F, G, or whichever drive you install them in, not documents. Uh, don't go to the documents folder. And then you want to go to E again, of course, and uh, here they are. Um, so first of all, you want to make a copy of this. You don't have to do this, but it's always safe to do this. So copy. I've already got one, as you can see there, but I'll just do it anyway. Uh, there we go. So that's now copy. And you could do that for generals as well, but I'm just going to show you zero hour today only um, in this video. So zero hour mod free being copied over in the t uh, time that's being copied. We want to go to our mod. So I've got end project over here. I'm going to drag over all of them files, and I don't think I need them to. And you're going to copy that control C, or you can right click copy control C, same thing. And then you come back over here and uh, wait for this to finish copying, which is just going to happen in a few seconds, hopefully. And there we go. Okay, there we go. Uh, firstly, you don't have to rename it, but I'm going to rename it. So M project. Ask you for permission, yes. Now what you're going to do is going to open this and you are going to paste um these files. So it's going to copy and replace to yes, yes, and uh, do this for all. Copy and replace, yes. Okay, so now it's copied and replaced some of the files and also added some new files. Um also with this mod you you want to go to uh, scripts and delete this folder. Uh, you don't have to use all these mods, but with this mod, it's got its own script, so you just do that. Okay, so that is all it is for um, that mod. Some mods don't have installation uh, ways, so you have to just add them on like that. And simply to delete this, all you have to do is come here and press delete and get rid of it, and that's it. Another thing to do as well is to go to your application here and I'd advise you to make a shortcut um, so create shortcut and make a shortcut on, onto your desktop that way from your desktop you can always play it. you don't have to come back to this folder you can just put a, a shortcut on your desktop and rename it end project and there we go okay so that's one way to uh, install or actually that's a way to add a mod and second way is to actually install the file or the uh, mod itself so I'm going to download and install, well I've already downloaded it and installed it, Shockwave 1.2. So same thing, you're going to copy and then I'm going to rename it to 1.2 and uh, here's 1.2 over here and all you're going to do, you're going to go through the installation. Yes, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it and this one actually uh, did it for you. So you want to make sure when it asks you where you want to install, make sure you install over here. Um, good thing about the installation uh, mods uh, that you can easily get rid of all the files. You simply just go to uninstall, add program files. I uh, sorry, add or remove programs, and uh, click uninstall and find it. Otherwise, uh, for end project, for example, if you did not make another folder, it would have installed into your general zero hour, and you can't play zero hour um, normally again until you don't delete the files uh, because all the files will be mixed up. But anyway, that's all it is for this video. Hopefully, that will help you guys to install your mods and. Uh, play them. Anyway, for now, I'm your host Jundi and see you in another video.